Alright, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this ASUS. Uh, this is model five, uh, K501U. All right, full model is K501UX-WH74. All right, I don't have my usual setup, so this might be a little bit difficult, but let's see. All right, so we're going to be using a J1 or JS1 or PH1 screwdriver to remove the screws from the bottom. All right, you want to keep all the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that is I put them flat side down like this on my desk in the pattern I remove them, all right, just like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and remove all these screws. All right, if this video helps you out, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, let's go ahead and continue removing all these screws. Looks like there's four at the back and then one on either side and then four at the front. Okay. All right. So, yeah. All right. Again, it'll help a lot if you watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well. And yeah. Other than that, get all these screws out. The customer brought this to have the battery replaced. So, it should be a relatively quick job. But we're also going to take a look at what components they got inside and how it's. Um, this laptop is designed. Um, if I remember correctly, this kind of design is pretty simple to get into. All right, so do this. Flash is actually, um, I'm using the flash as my light source. It's making it a little bit difficult because it makes shadows on everything, but uh, it is what it is. All right, so there we go. Now that we got that, we're gonna carefully open this. And then I'm going to get my fingernails in the gap here, all right? And then we're just going to basically pull on the palm rest assembly, all right? Let's see if I can do this. The tripod's kind of in my way, but I'll get my fingernails in this. Let me see. i got to move this over. All right, so we'll get in there. Huh. How can I do this and show it? It's a little tricky. I might have to. Okay, let me raise this thing up a bit so it's less in my way let's see here okay maybe like that okay is that less in my way now so i'll do this all right and i'll get my fingernails in the gap there let's see if we can wow this one's actually a little bit tough to do so let's try from the side here Okay, so I'll get my fingernails in the side and I'm going to push on the palm rest area with my thumb. Avoid pushing on the keyboard or the palm or the touchpad. Okay, you can see it's kind of forming a gap already. That's good. All right, we're going to work our way around. And we're going to continue here. Okay, yeah, it's tricky with the thing in my way. You can see my knee and the way I'm sitting around it onto the side but there you go it's popping okay i'm gonna carefully close this up all right you can see we got most of that out go around and sit behind the tripod all right then we can go around the side here and you can see it's popping up for the most part all right now that we got that i'm gonna hold this up slide my fingernail along the side edges okay feels like there's a clip in the middle holding it down so we gotta be careful there. Okay, we're gonna continue working our way around here. Uh, let's see, pull from the back. Okay, this is coming out relatively easily. So I just went in there with my fingernails and there we go. All right, looks like it came easier from the back side than the front and that's what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna have to clean this off a bit. There's some dust inside, all right. And the battery is right here, okay? This model, let's see if I can zoom in here for you guys. So, oh, I need to also get a thumbnail. So let's get this lined up. Okay, 
So there we go. Battery is very simple to get to. Um, this is how most the Asus or Asus models are. They have this little metal latch, which let me zoom in and show you here. Okay, so this, you just slide this up just like that. Once you slide that up and then you can see a little gray sliver there, you know that it slid all the way. Get underneath here and just pull this up just like that. All right, next thing we're gonna go ahead and undo the screws that are holding the battery in place. All right, so we'll undo these. It looks like there's three going along the top. Okay, and then we'll take a closer look at all the other components. But that, there's that one, this one, this one. Okay, got those three. And I think that's it. Are they hiding any other? Nope. Okay, so just those three screws. Then you can go ahead and lift this up. So you kind of have to tilt it up like this. All right. Or there, oops, sorry. There is another screw here, down here. All right, so there we go. Four screws out. Now let's see if we can just lift it up. Okay, and then this slides out somewhat that way. You can see there's these little tabs that kind of tuck underneath. And there's the battery. It's an Asus. Uh, where's the model? There you go. B31N1429. So the replacement battery. Hopefully it's the same. Here you go. B31N1429. Okay. You can see the labeling is different. And that's how it is. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look um, at the internal components. So you got one fan there. You got this flip latch connector here for the two USB ports, um, SD card slot, and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Okay, you got a spot here for a 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD. So if you want to add more storage, there's an M.2 PCIe NVMe, PCIe NVMe SSD here. One screw pops up slightly at an angle. You can pull that out. All right, you got the keyboard connector right here, also with the flip latch. All right touchpad um, buttons that looks like oh actually this is just for the LEDs so the activity indicator LEDs then the touchpad is connectors right there All right LCD LVDS connector if you're gonna mess with this connector it's very important that you disconnect um, the battery and then open the laptop press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds then you can pull this out these kinds of connectors you just pull this up usually I have a hard time pulling it up so I get under here and flip it up with my fingernail as well all right, another fan here with the fan connector there. Um, and then we have one slot of RAM hidden there. There's the other fan connector there. You can see how that board connects to that. Wireless card, sorry, wireless antennas are going down here, the black and white wires, and they're going up and then they connect here. The antennas, you go from the tail and then you can pull straight up on the tail to pop those out. This is a keyboard backlight connector with another little flip latch here. And I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and actually pop the RAM cover off so you can see what type of RAM it uses. So usually with this, I just get underneath with my fingernail. Let's see, and there we go. We can pop that out. Okay, get underneath and pop that out. Oh, it's held on with some adhesive. All right, we're gonna carefully pull these two tabs aside. Pops up like that, and this comes out. And this is PC3L12800S, so this is DDR3 RAM. But yeah, any PC3L12800S RAM should work. Okay, let me get this piece back in. Okay, make sure it goes in and then click it down. All right, we're gonna close this back up. I do need to clean the dust out, so let me do that real quick and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So we cleaned up most of it. Um, one thing is the fan most likely is gonna have dust in there. Let's see if we can easily take the fan out or not. All right. If we can, then we can lift up the fan, and we should be able to um, get more dust out from there. Okay, so there's three screws. All right, and let's see. 
Oh, no, the fan is actually stuck to the heatsink. So we can't just lift this up. I was hoping I could lift it up and then clean the dust that's stuck to the grate there. But I guess not. So I'm probably just going to use a vacuum and then try and pull the air out through the fan. And hopefully that will get most of that dust out. So let me do that and I'll be back. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, so I used a vacuum to clean it out. Anyways, let's go ahead now and put the new battery in and we should be good to go, okay? So, the new battery, like that. All right, and this might not line up right, okay? So these two line up and go under here and then you just line that up. Make sure this goes over here. All right. Look up. Okay, so here you can see how those little feet kind of go under there. And then you just line up that little tab down there and the screw holes. And we're just going to get the screws back in. And we should be good. All right. I'm not 100% sure because I didn't see a CMOS or BIOS battery, but a lot of times the main battery acts as the CMOS, BIOS, RTC real-time clock battery these days. So most likely that's what's going on here. Oops, there we go. Get that back in. And the way we'll know is if we try and turn it on, if it doesn't turn on right away or um, if it takes a while. Let me see here. It's hard to see with, at this weird angle. Okay, give me a second. Oh, it's not quite. There we go. Alright, and the last screw. Um, also, if you're wondering, this uh, CPU and GPU are soldered to the motherboard. You can't upgrade them. Let me actually show you a close-up of that. So. Here you have the CPU soldered to the motherboard and the GPU. I'm pretty sure that's the GPU because there's like these around it, which is usually the memory. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and zoom back out here and then we'll get the bottom cover back on and that's pretty much all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Oh, yeah, we gotta, of course, get the connector back in. So the battery connector, let me see, did they? The battery connector on the replacement is pretty long so what we have to do is we kind of have to push the excess cabling down here all right and then hopefully that will be good we can get that in all right the camera's in my way to do this so I might have to do this outside of the camera and then come back but let's see there we go actually there we go okay click that all in and then once you get it clicked in make sure you just slide this metal piece back on top and that will hold the battery in place. All right, you can see there. Okay, looks good. All right, <coughs> then we just got to get the bottom cover back on and that's pretty much it. All right, so bottom cover, get it all lined up. Um, we can actually push from this side first. Okay, and then we just work our way around, clipping it all into place. Good. Check the bottom. Oh, the clips are still in. So, huh, this clip is being difficult. So, oh, there we go. Why is this one clip not want to go in? Let's see what's going on. I'll pop this all back out. Maybe with the way it's designed, you have to go ahead and angle this way because, like, we had to pull it up this way. So, let's see. So, we're going to tilt it this way. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's hard to do this with the tripod in my way. Let me see. How am I going to hold this? This one clip in the middle here is being difficult. 
Okay, give me a second. I'll be back. I need more lighting. All right, I was able to get it. The clip was a little bit like bent weird. But anyways, now we should be able to clip that all in, all around. Okay, clip that down. Make sure all these clips go in. All right, and then check around, make sure there's no gap. Looks good. All right, and we'll just get all the screws back in and we're good to go. Again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well. Even if you're just saying hi or something because that's what the algorithm likes to see. Other than that, that's pretty much it. You're welcome to stay as I get all these screws back in. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. All right, thanks for watching, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, I should turn off the other light because now there's a shadow in the way. All right, let me turn off the other light for a second. Okay, let's get the last of the screws back in and we'll be good to go. Oh yeah, obviously we'll also need to turn it on to make sure. screws Last one. all right and that's all there's to it let's go ahead and flip it over they did have this little USB thing here let's see Two USBs. Okay, let's power it up and see if it works without plugging it in. And I think we have to plug it in first because nothing's happening. All right, so I'm gonna plug it in and then I'll test it and I'll be back. Oh, I was wrong. I didn't need to plug it in. It automatically it automatically turned on. It just took a while. So there we go. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. All right. Let's shut this down. Bye.